Hi, my name's Jane. I've been an English teacher for 35 years. I'd like to tell you about a wonderful voluntary project in India that I'm part of. The amazing educator that created this project is Hari Krishna Pacharu from ZPHS Ailavaram School. This English teacher has given his students opportunities to connect with other teachers and students around the world. Some of his students have prepared some videos about verb tenses using real life examples. And some of them started taking part in this project just six months ago, and they're able to communicate really well in English. So congratulations to Hare Krishna Pacharu, his school, the volunteers, and all the students. We are the students of ZPHS Ailavaram. We are proud to be a part of this school. We are take part in the national Zoom sessions. We are all reaping the fruits of these classes. We learn every topic from these classes and apply them in our daily life. We are privileged to make these videos on the topic tenses. We request to watch these videos and dresses. Hello guys, this is Shruti. I am studying 8th grade. Now I am going to tell the importance of Zoom sessions. These classes are very useful to us. The best example is I am because I didn't know how to speak and write English before attending these sessions. After attending these sessions, I am able to speak and write. That is why I am telling these classes are very useful to us. Now I am going to introduce about past continuous tense. Past continuous tense structure, subject plus verb were in plus object. Clue words. When, as, while, at this time yesterday, at this time last week, at this time last year, on Monday at 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. yesterday. Past continuous tense is used to express an action which is in progress at the certain point of past time. She was reading English at this time yesterday. When the two actions of the past are to be expressed, the action which is in progress is to be expressed in past continuous and the action which is completed is used to express simple past. While she was doing project, she helped her. Usage number 3. When two actions are in progress simultaneously, both actions are to be expressed in past continuous tense. She was sweeping the floor. She was setting the chairs in order. Friends, I am Nohita Gija. I am in 9th grade. I am studying at JP Chess School, Ayalavaram. Now I am going to tell the importance of these Zoom classes. I have been attending the Zoom classes for 9 months. I have learned as a topic comprehensively during this 9 months period. I am able to translate any sentence in English with the help of tenses topic. I am applying this topic in my real life. I was not able to translate any sentence in English until I attended these Zoom classes. But today I am translating any sentence in English. I am talking with foreigners now. My parents are so proud of me as I am talking in English with my friends, teachers and relatives. These Zoom classes are very useful to me in my future and I am blessed to, to take part in these Zoom classes. In perfect conditions, structure, subject plus, has or have plus, being plus, in plus, object, clue words, since, for, all morning, all evening, all night, all this year. It is used to express an action which begins before a certain point of time and still in progress. Now I am going to give one example. My mother has been intending her knotted hair for 5 minutes. Now I am going to introduce about plain perfect tense. Plain perfect tense structure, subject plus, has or have plus, with plus, object. Clue words, just already at so far till now, up to now, since for. In this present perfect tense, there are five functions. First function, unwished action. We use this tense when you want to talk about unwished actions or states or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. Usually we use it to say how long and we need since of fur. We often use stative verbs. Now I am going to give an example. My sister has drawn pictures for 10 minutes. Second function, finished actions, life experience. These are actions or events that happen sometime during a person's life. We don't say when experience happened and the person needs to be alive now. We often use the words ever and never. Now I am going to give an example. I have been to Nagarjuna Saga Dam. Third function, unfinished time word. With an unfinished time word, the period of time is still continuing. We often use the words today, this month, this week, this year. Now I am going to give one example. 
my sister has tied friendship bands to all her friends today fourth function finish the finish the action with the result in the present focus on result we often use the play perfect tense to talk about something that happened in the recent past but that is still or important now or i am going to give an example i have lost my earring so i can't get it back fifth function we can also use the play perfect tense to talk about something that happened recently even if there is not a clear result in the present this is common when we want to introduce news and we often use the word suggest already at recently now i am going to give an example my sister has just eaten dairy milk thanks for watching this video bye bye Hi this is Nandini now I will tell the importance of the zoom classes i have been attending these classes for 9 months i have learned the tenses topic thoroughly i didn't know the value of these classes until i attended these classes but my, some of my friends are attending these classes i also got interest of these classes but many of the students are not showing interest of these classes i think they definitely struggle in the future now i will teach you simple past simple past structure subject plus v2 plus object clue words yesterday last night last week ago once once upon a time in 2015 in 2020 now i will say some examples my friend played shuttle day before yesterday he checked his phone last week my neighbor attended a function last week hi friends i am sayana gisri i am studying eighth grade now i'm going to explain about the importance of zoom sessions i have been attending these zoom sessions for last 6 months in this 6 months i learned so many things through the through these zoom sessions i didn't speak english properly until i attended these classes now i able to speak in english fluently with foreigners so it i am thinking it's a great great progress now i am going to explain about the first then about one tense the tense name is future continuous tense Structure, future continuous tense structure subject plus will or shall plus in plus before plus object clue words at this time tomorrow at this time next week at 10 am tomorrow at 10 am next week at 10 am next year so these are the clue words and structure of present and future continuous tense now i'll give you five examples for this first example i will be going to my grandfather's village but at this time next week now second example my mother will be going to guntur by at 10 am at 10 am next next day next week now third example my brother will be watering plants at 5 am tomorrow now fourth example i will be doing my homeworks at 7 o at 7 pm tomorrow now fifth example my father will be going to his work at this time next week so these are the examples of this tense so thank you friends bye hi friends this is nagalakshmi now i am going to say uses of zoom classes i have been attending zoom classes for 9 months i didn't know how to speak in english until i attended zoom classes once i was scared of english but today i don't have any more fear these classes are very useful to me in future now i am able to translate telugu sentences into english and i am able to think in english now i am going to explain present continuous tense and its function present continuous tense structure subject plus is am are plus in plus object and clothes now at present right now at this time at this moment look listen don't disturb don't make noise these days currently uh, in present continuous tense there are five functions first function present continuous tense is used to express an action which is in progress at the time of speaking my grandfather is weaving right now her aunt is washing clothes right now now present continuous tense second function 
Present continuous tense is also used to express an action which takes place in immediate future. She is going to Tenali tomorrow. Now third function. Present continuous tense is used to express temporary actions. My grandmother is spinning the wheel these days. My uncle is watering the plants these days. Present continuous tense fourth function. Present continuous tense can be used to express an action that are being repeated. My friend is always eating chocolates. Present continuous tense fifth function. Present continuous tense can be used when speaking about current trends. Having smartphone is quite common these days. Having watches is gaining popularity nowadays. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Hi friends, this is Nagalakshmi. Now I am going to explain about future perfect tense. Future perfect tense structure, subject plus will or shall plus have plus v3 plus object and clothes by tomorrow, by next week, by end of this week, by end of this month, by 8 am tomorrow by the time you arrive. Now I am going to explain function. It is used to express an action which gets completed before a certain point of future time. My mother will have cut vegetables by 8 pm tomorrow. My grandfather will have checked his phone by this time tomorrow. Hello everyone, my name is Bhagyashrina. I am studying 9th grade. I have been attending these Zoom classes for 9 months. I didn't know the value of English before I attended the Zoom classes. Now I have known the value of English. I am able to speak in English with my parents and relatives. These classes are very useful to me in future. Now I am going to explain about past perfect tense. Past perfect tense is used to express an action which gets complete before a certain part of past time. Structure, subject plus, had plus, v3 plus, object, clue words, when, after, before, by the time, yesterday, uh, until then, sooner than. She is my grandmother. My grandmother had swept the house by 5 p.m. yesterday. I have drawn the pictures at this time, day before yesterday. Second function of past perfect, when two actions of past is to be expressed, earlier action is to be expressed, past perfect, later action is to be expressed, simple past. Hmm. After I had drawn the pictures, I colored it. After my grandmother had cleaned the uh, shelves, she washed her hands. Hi friends, I am Chasita. Today I tell the importance of Zoom classes and the simple future tense. The importance of Zoom classes is I didn't like English before I attend this Zoom classes because it is not our mother tongue. I got interest after I attending this Zoom classes. Now I am able to write and speak in English. I am speaking with foreigners also. Some of my friends used to perform well better than me. Now I am performing well better than my friends. These classes are very useful to my future. Simple future tense. Simple future tense. Touching subject plus will or shall plus v1 plus object. Clue words. Tomorrow, the day after, tomorrow, tonight, soon, this week, this month, this year, in the future. The use of simple future tense. The simple future tense is used to express actions which takes place in a future without any arrangement she's my sister my sister will go to her college tomorrow she's my mother my mother will celebrate his her birthday on 23rd august he is my father my father will attend a function on august 7th my name is Jagdi. I am studying 8th grade at JPHS I didn't know the value of English until I attended the Zoom class. I treated English as a one, just one subject. I did not know how to speak and write in English. But now, I, now I, I, I am able to speak and write in English with the help of Zoom classes. I am also speaking with foreign teachers. Simple sentence structure. Subject plus S, ES, IES plus object. Clue words always, frequently, usually, regularly, often, seldom, once in a week, twice a week, thrice a month. Simple brand and first function is uh, habitual actions. Simple brand is used to express habitual actions. My mother views saris every day. Simple 
Second one is second function is future actions. I will give you one example to understand what is future action. I have one TV. Simple randoms start function is future actions. Simple randoms is used to express future actions according to an arrangement of pre plan. My brother celebrates Independence Day tomorrow. Simple randoms fourth function is the state of verbs. These verbs are expressed in state or condition and usually occur in the present simple. I will give you an example. I believe in God. Simple brain dance fifth function is senses. See, hear, smell, taste and the clue words of senses. I see the plant.